morning guys well it's actually like late morning and um yeah i decided to do a vlog today um so yeah it was black friday it's mainly to talk about black friday because black friday was is a joke at this point so i was working on black friday i did like an eight o'clock in the morning till four don't even get me started on that but pretty now we get our deliveries really early um but anyway that was the whole story because i got up at stupid i got like half two i was not even gonna go to the gym on friday but i might as i thought i might as well because i was like wide awake anyway so i was completely knackered by the end of the day um but anyway so i went on my break um and had a browse and i was like i didn't really see anything and then um after work as well and that's when i came to the conclusion that black friday especially like especially in store is like dismal it's just like normal like clothes sales like i the only thing i actually picked up as like a black friday thing was this dress because i'm going out on a meal um a few days before christmas and i wanted to actually make an effort and buy an outfit because i usually don't like i already have some like going out stuff but i don't like buying going out stuff because i don't really go out but i brought it anyway but it's because i wanted something kind of Chris christmas here i'll probably show you in a minute but it's like the sequins sequin dress it was between that one and another dress that wasn't on the sale but i thought the other dress i'll insert a photo um but i thought the other dress was kind of a little bit too fancy like it was kind of like that was like like a ball gown we're going somewhere really 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 special um so i didn't go for that one but yeah that dress um but the dress i got cost me around like 35 quid um but yeah, the sales they weren't they weren't that great, and then obviously House of Fraser would like spend two hundred and fifty quid to get a fifty pound voucher. Yeah, that's their that's their Black Friday deal. But I love it. It wasn't really, it wasn't really Black Friday. Like I thought last Black Friday was a bit dismal, but this Black Friday was even more dismal. Um, but I did finally get like some more presents, um, for Christmas. Um. One of them was in the Black Friday sale um, online, which I mentioned online is so much better. I feel that online they just, I don't know, I, I don't think stores kind of, I don't know, because a lot of stores weren't even participating in it either. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it's because obviously the economy, the economy is like really bad. So I don't know if it's just the fact that shops couldn't even afford to do really good sales because they'd be losing too much money because they're already losing a lot of money so i don't know if that was that was the reason i have no idea marks and spencer never really get involved in black friday i think they've ever had because i was hoping if it was the blazer that we were selling they would go down because i would have bought the blazer but i am not spending 70 70 i think it's like 70 71 pounds on a blazer like it looks really nice but it's got loads of sequins in it and it's just not like a practical thing i'll be wearing all the time to spend that much amount of money but it does look really nice but no i just passed on that but yeah i don't know if that's just the reason why there's not that many sales or the sales i have is only like it was like like 20 percent. it's like black friday is all about like proper like discounts like 50 percent and stuff um i don't know but i assume maybe they just can't afford it um they'll be they'll be losing more money than actually making money um so i'm gonna assume that's the reason but honestly i wouldn't even bother with black friday to be fair i'm lucky i actually was work that i was actually working well to be fair i would have still technically been around town area because i would have probably gone after the gym anyway so it wouldn't be too bad i don't know i just found it wasn't really that great But yeah, this is the dress I got in the end and it's got like a belt as well to wrap around um your waist. They had different colours, but this was like the best colour. It's like a um emerald green colour with different like it's like the base is green, but it's like chrome chrome as well. If that makes any sense. I think that's what you call it like a chrome. Um but yeah. And when did sticky notes get so expensive? This was like ten quid like 10 quid for sticky notes and i was at the time and she was like well, we can do these like smaller ones they're like 69p and it's like i needed it really for this color but even then why is it and that you'd get literally each color it was like single colors but they were like not even half like a quarter of what you'd get and i thought this is so expensive like i remember sticky notes being really cheap i know it's because the 
place I got it from is like Ray Rayman, I think it is. I think that's what the shop's called. But I thought, and these apparently came to be super. Well, they better be super sticky for the price. Um, but yeah, they're so expensive. I was like, wow. Um, but yeah, these should last me. To be fair. I got it mainly because of this blue because I'm running out of it, this colour blue. I don't want to add another key for another colour because I've already done that with um talking about my Bible with um words of like knowledge and stuff. It's got like two colours now, so it's got a lime green and a yellow. But I want to still stick the um you know the um <coughs> verses for like hope and stuff and comfort. I still want to keep them as blue. So yeah, but yo, so expensive. I particularly don't want to stay at home today but I actually don't know what to do or where to go because I don't know, Derby let's be honest is dismal, there's not much things to actually do, like I don't really want to go into town because I'm literally always in town, I was in town, I mean I work in town but like I was like looking around in town like yesterday, Wendy's is open up now, um where I lived, the first, well, I think we used to have a, apparently we used to have a Wendy's ages ago, but if you go, well, I'm from the UK, but in America, you know what Wendy's is, but, um, that's open up today, but I know it's going to be, like, packed, and I can't be doing with that, there's Dunkin' Donuts, which I haven't been to, that's an idea, maybe, Dunkin' Donuts, I've not, I was meant to go yesterday after work, but because I was, like, shopping around for Black Friday, I really couldn't be bothered out. And as I said, I was so freaking exhausted. I was just like, no. Um, there's, so there's that, Dunkin' Donuts. They're all in the same area as well, like, just outside town. But I don't know. It's, like, effort. But I don't really want to stay at home. <laughs> Does it make any sense? I have no idea, but I don't know. I'm kind of slightly bored. I've just, been, I've just started reading... Um, the Gospel of Luke, um, but yeah, I'm kind of a bit, a bit bored at the minute. I am heading to One Stop. It's more so to get some fresh air. Probably pick up a coffee because they have a Costa vending machine, uh, thingy, whatever you call it. They have one there. Pick up if there's any food or anything. Maybe pick up cereal and stuff or whatever. Not like a major shop. It's basically to get out of the house and. I, I did think about Kingsway Retail Park and I thought it's not worth the effort because JD hasn't opened there yet so there's no point and the shop's there it's like, mm, for how long it is. I mean, to be fair, I think it would be like, honestly it'd be like just maybe just over an hour from my house um, but still, I just couldn't be bothered. And then um, there was little over village but again i can't be bothered like i'm just in this mindset where i want to go out but then the effort to go out is just a lot for me so i'm just like you know what one stop's literally just down the road it's just a walk down the road and then back again and then i did think of asda but again i was just like maybe go to asda for starbucks or something and i was like i really can't be bothered <laughs> that's literally my mindset today to be honest with you earlier on i just wanted to lie in bed i woke up i was annoyed i, I wanted to wake up no later than nine because my shit my like sleep pattern especially yesterday was awful i wanted to catch up and sleep i woke up at half six i was so annoyed i just wanted to lie in bed and just just lie in bed <laughs> which I, I used to do all the time when I just felt like I just couldn't be bothered I'd just lie in bed and get out just to use the toilet and to eat something but like I don't really want to be in that mindset anymore so today is just kind of like I want to go out but I can't be bothered to go out so that's the closest I'm going to get I mean I could have just gone to my corner shop but I don't I want to venture a little bit outwards <laughs> a little bit it's, it's literally just like a I want to say like 10 minutes, not even 10 minute walk, I think it's like under 10 minutes, um, but yeah, I need some fresh air, even though the air outside is freezing, I still need some. <laughs> this is literally all that I um, picked up as well as a coffee from the vending machine, um, but yeah, this one looked quite interesting, it's barbecue beef brisket. And it has a pretty long shelf life, even though it's chilled, like, used by the 5th of January. Well, not even in December, yeah. Um, I don't know 
if it's because of what it soaps into it. I don't know. Or technically, it's already cooked. I think it's one of those where technically it's kind of really cooked. I don't know. I don't even know what brisket is. It just looks nice. And I've never even had a T TGI Fridays. Um, but yeah. <laughs> but there's that. I've had this before. Um, two steak bakes. The what's it's giants, okay guys. So there was a time where what's it's were decent size. The what's it's giants are basically what what's it's used to be until they shrunk them. So yeah, there's that. That's a little history lesson on that. And I saw these pieces white um chocolate um miniature cups and then some scones. I really like these scones and I'm just It is currently freezing cold. I'm about to have a warm bath and then I'm probably going to cuddle up with a hot water bowl which I've used about five times today already. <laughs> I'm joking. I, I've actually only used it once. I did use it last night but yeah it, it's it's freezing and after that I'm going to be watching the Bob's Burgers movie which um, I did a review on ages ago when it came out because I watched it in the cinema. But yeah I'm going to end this vlog here so.